Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing this unboxing of a dash cam that I bought for use in my wife's car. She has a pretty decent commute some days to work, so we wanted to be able to take video of any bad drivers, accidents, anybody giving us any problems, because drivers around here are stupid. Anyway, this is the, uh, the dash cam that goes by a couple names. You'll see it either as a a118 or sometimes a b40 um, I think I chose this one because I think it has the best form factor it's not really big although it does come with a screen and uh, it is 1080p it has good quality it seems relatively easy to use from the other reviews I've seen and read about it so uh, we'll just unbox it here today and show you what comes in it and um, do a little bit of the installation later on so anyway, here's the box. It comes in kind of a generic box. Looks like a CRX or something drawn on there. Uh, there's no part number or anything really listed. I mean, this. Oh, I guess I was wrong. See, it does say B40 there. So uh, I purchased this one through eBay. Uh, you can get it eBay, Amazon, or you know the dozen other Chinese gadget sites that are out there. Um, some of the specs on it here. H.264 recording. It does have a little TV out uh, jack if you have the proper cable. Um, looks like you can target cars and joggers with this if you want. Uh, wide dynamic range it says 170 viewing angle 1200. I suppose that refers to the ISO of the camera. Uh, it's got a 1.5 inch screen and it does do loop recording. That's pretty much what every car dash cam is gonna you need it to do just loop over the recordings um, as long as you can save the important one like right as a uh, accident happens or somebody gets on you you can save that one and it doesn't get recorded over um, car DVR yeah oh there's some English stuff if you care to read that you can pause it and look at that anyway let's open this sucker up Okay, so first we have our camera. Okay. okay, so as you can see, it's pretty, pretty cool form factor. The screen's going to face you in the car, so technically the windshield's going to go here. It's going to stick with this, and this should be a little, uh, yeah. Excuse me. That's just a little clip. So that sticks to the inside of the windshield, and then therefore you can remove the camera and take it in the house with you, or you could just remove the flash card here. Uh, it's got a microphone input, or not input, I'm sorry, that's the microphone itself. Uh, you got the USB, that's where the power will go when the car turns on and applies power here, then the camera should turn on. Um, Oh, there's the, okay, it's kind of written up there. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up. But you've got your in. This little hole here it says in, so that would be... It is compatible with the GPS sensor. I did not buy a GPS sensor for this. But there are sensors that come relatively cheaply, and I guess that would plug in for there. And then this one says AV out, so that's where that dongle would go. Uh, on this side, you've got nothing but your reset button. And then it shows you the lens here. And once you've st stuck it to the windshield, you can adjust the position of the lens till it looks good to you, which you can be checking on the screen there. Um, you know, you don't want to get too much of the sky, but you want to be able to see traffic lights and that kind of stuff. So, uh, and again, here's that clip. It's got like a little keyway there. So you'll see the square will just go into the keyway and then you would slide it slide it up and now it's mounted all right let's see what else comes in here um the infamous string so the string i guess is if you already have some sort of dash cam and you wanted to change to this one the little string helps you to kind of saw through the adhesive mount of whatever else you're using and there's a little screw in there. The screw is going to be for this guy. I'm probably not going to use this guy, 
This is like a little cable caddy organizer part. Again, it's got adhesive tape, so that would go to the back, or I'm sorry, the underside of your windshield, and they would basically go together like this. Um, I think in our case, we're not going to need to hide any cables. I'll be able to put it up fairly close to the headliner and hide those cables around in the headliner. But anyway, uh, this little screw in the package here, there she is, um, goes in there just to help keep the pieces together. As you can see, it's got little little clips there so you could open this thing up, but I'm not even really going to use that. Uh, you also get some cable caddy type things you could place around the inside of the windshield or under the dashboard or on the dashboard if you needed to secure that wire around. You get a like a standard little USB cable. Yeah, so this is mini USB, and this is a nice little short one for using at your computer for uh, transferring files from the camera to your computer for editing. Uh, here's your power cord. Right. It's a nice long one. I believe it's going to be about 10 feet long. So plug into the lighter socket and then USB, mini USB, to the camera itself. All right. And the final item would be manual, right? Um, looks like a book, but it's actually a fold-out. Uh, it is in English. Yeah, everything's in English, so might be good to read this. Um, here's some of the specs on it. Looks, according to them, it does max out at the 32 gigabyte card, so that's what I'll put into it. Um, it says standard voltage DC 5 volts, so this this plug here is going to take you from 12 volts AC for the, from the car. I'm sorry, 12 volts DC from the car to 5 volts for the camera. So we even have a little label here. Let's see if we can read that. DC power supply, input 12 volts to 24 volts DC at 0.3 amps, output DC 5 volt, 1 amp. 1 amp there. So uh, that's good to know those specs in case you want to ditch this lighter socket adapter and maybe hardwire it with a uh, 12 volt to 5 volt conversion kit that they sell. You, you can find those all over eBay or Amazon or auto parts stores even. So maybe I'll do that in the future. So anyway, let's get these out of the way and see if we can uh, power this up. It does have a little battery inside. Oh, it does power up. Screen went dark immediately. Let's hit menu. Ah, oh, there we go. So, we're in, looks like we're in the playback mode. Oh, set up and off. Low battery. Yeah. Oh, and that's it. So we'll have to add the menu section later. Maybe once it's uh, installed in the car. So, next I will include some footage of doing the installation. And uh, then maybe later on we can do some um, footage loop in some footage from uh, driving around so we can see what it looks like in the day and in the night. Alright, thanks for watching. Next will be the uh, install portion. Okay, here's the uh, installation portion of the video. Uh, I'm not, I didn't, I'm not going to show just step by step because honestly it's already in. Um, it really didn't take me that long. I got it sitting up here behind the uh, rear view mirror. So I'll just show you how I ran it here. Um, so this is my wife's Honda Accord. We already had put in an iPod adapter to the factory stereo. So I got lucky in the fact that I had already made some holes to go from this center console. Um, I ran wires under the cup holder through the console. We got one wire in the 
uh, I don't know, storage box, whatever you want to call that. Uh, that's where she can put her iPod and then control it through the uh, the radio and she can still use her factory controls for volume and changing channel and stuff like that. So I had already made uh, a little hole in here, it's a little, little cluttered uh, as you can see, but I've got, uh, luckily there's already a 12 volt power outlet in there and we've also uh, put in uh, this little guy, Canivio, Canivo, something like that, a, a Bluetooth adapter, um, which this is like a, I don't know, a volume or change tracks kind of button. Uh, when she wants to uh, stream uh, Slacker or Pandora from her phone, uh, she doesn't have to um, do anything. It's it's Bluetooth, so it's real easy. Um, so that that was a project I had done before. So uh, to do that, though, I had made a hole down in the bottom. You can just see the wires coming out there by the Splenda packet. Um, and that hole was big enough for me to fish the USB lead back through to go up. To the headliner so I you know stuck all the wiring in here and then fished that little USB connector through the small hole I had already made uh, and then I used a a Y adapter for that 12 volt uh, so I could plug in the Bluetooth power adapter and the power adapter for the new uh, camera the DVR camera so that was pretty cool that it was a big enough already I thought I was going to have to drill a new hole, but um, so I basically ran that USB cable along here all the way up through here and it goes under the dash. And then from under the dash, I ran it behind. I took down the uh, glove box and ran wires through there. Uh, they pop out just above those air freshener items. On the side there, there's a luckily there's a little removable panel right there. So I was able to pry that off, run the wire out, pop it back on. All the, all these all these connections here, the the cup holder, the trim piece around the shifter, those are all just held in with little clips, so it was easy to pop out. Um, so it pops out over there, and then I ran it under the trim, the uh, weather stripping kind of trim up to this point here. And I was able to come across, apologize for the darkness here, I'm in the garage and it's already nighttime. But uh, I was able to run it up this little seam here between the two, the headliner and this trim piece. And then it just tracks along the edge of the headliner until I get to, where are you buddy? There you are, right there. So it's a little bright here, so I'm trying to, anyway. Um, so you can see the USB cable kind of sitting there. And yeah, it was very, very simple. So I'll go ahead and show you. I'm gonna click on the power here. Okay, and there we go. Up and running and you can see the red dot flashing. So as soon as it hits, gets power, it's already recording. And I have it set for three minute looping so we'll get three minute clips. It can do one minute, three minutes, five minutes. So we'll get three minute clips and it just keeps cycling over the card all over and over front to back again and again and again, unless you detect or unless you tell it you want to save a clip. I uh, don't know if you can see it, but that a little button right there. It's kind of like has an emergency triangle right above it. And that just saves the clip. Uh, then you can pop the camera out when you get home take it upstairs, hook it up to the computer with the uh, included USB cable and it comes up as mass storage device like if you hooked up your cell phone to the computer or a USB thumb drive it just comes up as mass storage so it's easy to transfer the files over and there we go proof there uh, I had the screensaver set to one minute because you don't want that screen just on all the time while you're driving um, so I set the screensaver to one minute and it shuts off. So, uh, so you get to your destination, you park the car, turn the key off, and it's going to shut off in just a moment. 
There we go. Well, I haven't have it even plugged in that long, so the battery keeps saying low battery, low battery. The battery in there is not very much. Doesn't have very much uh, capacity anyway. It's not for long time use. It's just for real quick review of a file or something like that. So anyway, that's how that goes. Um, once I get some footage from driving around, because I just did the install this evening and it's already uh, pretty late in the evening, I doubt we're going out anywhere tonight. So we'll get some driving footage and uh, put that in at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Madonna could untie the cape that was trapped around her neck. The backup dancer did his thing and it pulled her backward, neck first, onto the stage. And there were, she was standing right at the top of some stairs. And she fell down the stairs. Oh, gosh. I mean, oh. and she took a moment to collect herself. And